What it do, YouTube world? It's Coffee. Back at it with some more hip hop news, man. And this is huge. So much going on right now with Jada and the locks. The GOATs, man. The GOATs. What more can I say? Y'all know what it is, man. The greatest hip hop group, quite possibly, to ever pick up a mic. Y'all let me know if you think they are. Maybe you disagree. I mean, I don't know, but they, they definitely are up there, you know? And it's so uh, refreshing in 2022 to see them trending with great momentum. Y'all know what I mean? But before we get to that news, you see the clip rolling here, man. And you got to love to see this, right? K-Dot, Kendrick Lamar also making hip hop history every day, everywhere we go. You know, we waited so long for this new album to drop. And since it dropped, it's just been a momentous occasion time after time with Kendrick. Just the other day, he performed, you know, he was at the Barclays, right? Did a show, you know, for his Mr. Morale in the Big Steppers tour. And of course, being in New York, being at the Barclays, he's like, yo, I got to tap in with Hove. Like, it's only right to see hip hop royalty link up with each other like that. You know what I mean? Like, we got that collab that... Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe remix with Jay and K-Dot. We need another one. You know what I mean? But um, after, after he links with him, he does that uh, private show at uh, some exclusive club. Him just it was basically just Rock Nation, Hov's close associates and uh, Kendrick and, you know, like his close associates. It was it was really dope to get to see that footage and almost be a fly on the wall you know what i mean where kendrick was saying like shout out to hove you know for letting me sample that line he ain't never tried to charge me or nothing like that like that was just so dope for hip-hop and now after that it seems kendrick's still in new york you see him in harlem this footage is going crazy viral he's doing pull-ups right and i love to see ish like this just like regular ish you know what i'm saying like kendrick huge rapper like quite possibly the biggest rapper currently in the game right now and uh he's just out there on the block like a normal dude vibing with everyday people i'd love to see that just like how we see uh j cole riding his bike around the way and ish like that you know what i mean but uh you see they were doing like pull up for pull up bar for bar i guess on the bar and yo that's not easy when the bar's real thick like that it's harder to get get a good grip on it but kendrick did his thing he uh outlasted the other dude he was going up against and started showing off a little bit at the end there you see him pulling up and hanging up for like 10 seconds then he's like doing some extra ish and all that like i don't know i just think this is so cool comment and let me know if y'all agree and you see kendrick bringing back the bell bottoms as well what do y'all think about that man we you know Kendrick, I guess we could say, has he always been an innovator with the fashion and everything? Or is that kind of came more after the, the success and he became the K-Dot that we know that he is now or what? I don't know. Not that it's really important or maybe it is to you. But speaking of this, you know, it is a shame that we'll probably never see no more black hippie uh, music. You know what I mean? Like I always wanted to see a full proper project from them. Um, you know, I think there was like a mixtape. It, it kind of more or less felt like just a lot of ish thrown together on a on a like a, a, a mixtape or something, you know, like I always wanted to see a proper release from them. But, you know, with him moving on, doing his own thing with PG Lang, live, leaving behind TDE, I guess we'll never see that. But still, this this was dope to see Kendrick hitting the uh, pull ups in the hood, you know. Here we get to this Jada Kiss slash Locks news. Like I said, so much 
news going on with them. I love this. 2022, all these years later, Jada's still the truth. The lock's still the truth. That's what it is. You know what I mean? And you see the first clip there. Rock the Bells tour in Queens. Uh, you know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, LL Cool J's yearly festival. And Jada Kiss presents Chic Looch and uh, Styles P with these championship rings that he had made up. I guess the idea behind this reportedly was that, you know, the locks being the goats that they are and then the fact that they really don't get any awards. But it's wild, right? It's like, yeah, they don't get any awards, but at the same time, they're some of the most decorated award winning artists awards and, and accolades and recognized by the people by the hip-hop heads by the fans like would y'all agree with that statement you know what i mean like not a rec recognized by these award shows but recognized by the people so in a sense it's like these these um rings you know what i mean like a lot of times that would be a move that would be looked at corny if a lot of people did it like they made up their own trophies or their own rings but when jaded kids does it it's like the dopest ish ever you feel me comment and let me know if y'all agree with that statement and then big big news man benny the butcher big bsf black soprano family griselda announces him and jada kiss not just collabing on a track got a mixtape coming can you believe that like my mind is blown i'm already like amped in anticipation for this to drop this is this is this is history right here you know what i mean for real y'all 2022 jada the locks benny all this news this is this is just great this is a good look for the music let me know if y'all are waiting on that one stay tuned we'll definitely be updating you on that and then in you know uh still news not as major as the other news we just talked about though jada kiss brings back the paper towel like bandana headband style you know what i'm saying we we're just talking about hip-hop fashion with kendrick we got to talk about this uh with jadakiss a lot of cats didn't know that that's like um paper towels like folded or whatever like real talk you know what i'm saying i swear i seen that on an interview back in the day you know what i mean that was back during the like uh what album was that was that the kiss the game goodbye album remember the knock yourself out video jada had on the paper towel headband napkin napkin bandana whatever the fuck you want to call it i swear y'all and I, I i i seen like just looking seeing it in the video i never peeped it but then in the interview i heard him saying that and i swear i told some cats that they were like yo shut the fuck up you wilding you tripping get you, like quit making ish up i'm like man i'm telling you man it's it's a it's a it's a napkin y'all and i can't front man when i went one day hooping i made one up myself and was out there rocking it you know what i mean dead ass though but there you have it all this locks jd kiss news tap in comment let me know what you think about all this moving along check out this viral video uh i couldn't you know as a bills fan what up bills mafia if any y'all see this video i couldn't resist the opportunity to uh roast the jets right i'm telling y'all man like everyone knows the bills got the afc east wrapped up again but dolphins fans is tripping talking ish jets fans ain't really been talking but like dolphins fans y'all are delusional but jets fans i just had to bust y'all balls real quick over this video man your wide receiver uh garrett wilson out of ohio state goes to the driving range what's up with everyone always posting videos at the driving range man and you know uh this one I would have deleted this thing. You see, he 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 uh the club went further than the ball, man. Come on, man. Like you're you're a wide receiver in the NFL. You ain't supposed to have butterfingers like that, B. <laughs> Not a good sign for the Jets, man. Not a good sign. He may have some drops this year, you guys. All right, this news right here, guys. I'm not gonna say too much about it. Y'all know why. We gotta be careful out here in the blogosphere. You know what I'm saying? They already fuck with my platform to the oomph degree like they don't want to let me live they don't want to let me breathe in the blogosphere they don't even let people be knowing the the content coffee be dropping so real quick guys don't forget to hit the like the bell don't forget to join the discussion every interaction helps you know what i'm saying i love grinding and bringing you all this content hearing what you guys say to people but they be ishing on me you know what i mean so don't forget to support 
again, every every interaction, every bit of support helps. But um, you see this news reportedly it, there's some old new health crisis situation that made me jumping off. And I ain't even going to say nothing else about it. Just that I seen this. This scares the fuck out of me. Like, like what's going to happen next? You know what I mean? Like the, the, the first crisis ain't even fully done yet. Then we got this other ish going around got people looking all the way fucked up and then there's now reports of this that this could be some other new ish like come on man like what the fuck is going on out here and then to close the video out this the last bit of news right here guys do you see this viral video i don't know if you guys saw this on your timeline but this ish is crazy dude's just going about his business riding his bike along some parked cars on the street lady opens up her door now that's just gonna hurt period and be bad you know what i mean like just on some regular ish that ain't gonna be fun but you see he gets hit off his bike and just happens to fly out this like some final destination type ish you know what i'm saying but uh luckily it seems in the end he was all right but he flies under this semi truck truck goes over him thank god someone like was able to signal to the driver and the driver peeped what was going on stopped you see the guy was moving the truck backed up um the video ends but again dude's alive i don't know if he sustained any injuries but that ish is crazy that ish is scary like i said almost like some final destination type ish um yo everyone just never forget to be on point wherever you are whatever you're doing you know what i mean it's so easy throughout our daily grind trying to run our routines being late going to places and stuff like that to you know just do things without fully paying attention to what we're doing and it, you know it can be disastrous so just always stay on point you know what i mean never forget everybody's trying to make it home everyone's trying to you know be in one piece everyone's just trying to live long and prosper you know what i mean so that concludes this one please jump in the comments about all these topics we talked about don't forget to uh subscribe if you haven't if you're new again i need all the support i can get and stay tuned for updates and new content it's jay coffee talk blogging sports music news life current events and much more i'm about here y'all peace